let's start with phase four. As always, the first thing we do is disassemble it and get an idea of what's happening in the binary. And phase four has again this call to scan it, that it's getting our input and parsing it. And this time we know we need two inputs because if not, we are jumping to 1782. That is our exploit bomb. So we do not want that. We want to actually skip the exploit bomb. Um, so this means that we want it to come to this line here and see, oh, okay. Everything is fine, we have the 14 and end up just right to this point here. If we look um, down again, we have another code to explode bomb that can be skipped one jump, um, one instruction before with the jump up to 17 AA that is just destroying the stack and returning exactly the way we want it to. So let's uh, check what's happening in this call because we have a call now to another function for 4. If you look before from 4, we can see that it's taking three parameters and the, some kind of input that is in our stack, so probably or input. And then we have a second uh, parameter that it's 0 and third parameter that it's 14. It's interesting to see that uh, this compare that goes to export bomb should be says that the func4 should return 10 or a. Let's have a look what func4 is doing. So ldb command now, and we want to disassemble the func4. And there we have uh, func4 is taking our variable like the the 14 and doing stuff with it uh, and comparing with EDI that have not been has not been changed until now. Uh, we know that EPX is being added to ESI. And ESI was zero, so it was like initialized probably to do the operations. Um, if everything here is greater, it's going to, to jump here. And as you can see here, it's like a, an index walk back to the beginning of the function. So it's kind of a recursive function. And if it is less, uh, it's jumping to 3F. And 3f is again some kind of like a walking index that it also jumps to the beginning of for func4. Uh, the difference is just like the ddx is ddx or esi and when it's like equal edi and ebx are equal we are going to store ebx in ax and return and we know that this eax uh, is supposed to be 10 because that's the the value that we want to have when we return to func uh, to phase four so that we skip the export bump and actually return to the main function. If that's not clear to you, get some, um, have a look at it again and and maybe uh, check your notes on reversing 101. We are going to start our anger process again. So the beginning of the phase four can can be the beginning of func four for us because we want to skip the first that bomb explode and that doesn't really change anything in the flag. Everything that is important for the flag is happening here anyway. So we can set our phase four beginning and the beginning of a uh, func4 and the same is valid for the targets if you return uh, from func4 we are uh, we are having the flag for phase 4 
So it is one seven three two. Now that we have our address, we can um, create our blank state as we have been doing before. And now we need to create the symbolic uh, flag or the state to restart with the um, with func four. As we remember from from the binary, we need these three uh, parameters that are being passed to from four. So we know that um, EDI is our input. That should be symbolic because we, we that's what we want to to find out what it is. And then we have ESI that it's zero and EDX that it's fourteen. So let's set these values in your state. So EDX is fourteen or E. ESI was zero, and our EDI is supposed to be our input, right? Um, and this input is our partial flag, if you will. And this is something that we don't know, so we are going to create a bit factor that it's symbolic. And this is going to be my input. As it is in EDI, we can assume that it's a 32 bit bit vector. And we run our func for now with these values. And let's check. It found one state. So let's check what is in that state. As we remember, uh, we we saw here that there is this add ebx to esi, and ebx is supposed to be compared to edi, and this is going to return ten. So we can assume that uh, what we need to input is ten minus our input, and that's what we do here. We get our input that it's the um, symbolic value from the state that thing are found to lead us to the to the target and then we make like 10 minus this value so it's 10 minus my input and this is supposed to be your flag or our partial flag so this is going to be three so we get the value three and the string for 10 and we add this to our flag file and then we run and there you go we got that one too